The Lockheed D-21 as an American supersonic reconnaissance drone. The D-21 was initially designed to be launched from the back of an M-21 carrier aircraft, a variant of the Lockheed A-12 aircraft. The drone had maximum speed in excess of Mach 3.3 at an operational altitude of 90,000 feet. Originally known by the Lockheed designation Q-12, the drone was intended for reconnaissance deep into enemy airspace. The D-21 was designed to carry a single high-resolution photographic camera over a pre-programmed path, then release the camera module into the air for retrieval, after which the drone would self-destruct. Following a fatal accident when launched from an M-21, the D-21 was modified to be launched from a Boeing B-52 Stratofortress. Several test flights were made, followed by four unsuccessful operational D-21 flights over the People's Republic of China, before the program was cancelled in 1971. Kelly Johnson, the leader of Skunk Works, developed the concept of a long-range drone that used much of the A-12's technology. In October 1962 the CIA and the United States Air Force instructed Lockheed to study a high-speed, high-altitude drone concept. The USAF was interested in the Q-12 as both a reconnaissance platform and a cruise missile and the CIA finally decided to work with the USAF to develop the new drone. The camera and its film magazines with an inertial navigation system were carried in a cramped Q bay, below the drone's air intake. Honeywell built the avionics systems, new construction techniques and materials had to be developed for the systems to withstand the high temperatures, extreme vibrations and lack of space in the D-21. In late 1963 the project was named Tagboard, the Q-12 was redesignated D-21 while the A-12 version launcher became M-21. The M-21 was a two-seat version of the A-12, with a pylon on the fuselage centerline between the vertical stabilizers to carry the drone in a nose-up attitude. A D-21 mounted on an M-21 began captive flight testing on the 22nd of December 1964. Aerodynamic covers were initially placed over the D-21's intake and exhaust to reduce drag, but had to be removed after the first few tests, as no way of discarding them at Mach 3 without damaging the drone or carrier plane could be devised. The D-21 was first launched from an M-21 on the 5th of March 1966. The drone was released but stayed close to the M-21's back for a few seconds, which seemed like two hours to the M-21 crew. A second launch took place on the 27th of April 1966. The D-21 reached its operational altitude of 90,000 feet and speed of over Mach 3.3, though it was lost due to a hydraulic pump failure after a flight of over 1,200 nmi. The USAF's interest in the program continued and more D-21s were ordered after the second launch. A third flight took place on the 16th of June with the D-21 flying 1,550 nmi through its complete flight profile, though its camera hatch was not released due to an electronics failure. Unlike the three previous launches this one was performed straight and level, not in an outside loop to assist in the separation of the drone from the aircraft. The D-21 suffered engine problems and struck the M-21's tail after separation, leading to the destruction of both aircraft. Following the accident, Johnson suggested launching the D-21 from the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress bomber and adding a solid rocket booster to get it up to speed. The drone was modified by adding attachment points on its spine to mate with the carrying pylon on the B-52 and its belly attachment points were adapted to accommodate the rocket booster necessary to increase its speed and allow its ramjet to operate. Its vertical stabilizer was increased in size by approximately 20%. The modified drone version was designated D-21B. Two B-52Hs were modified to carry a pair of drones each by means of two large underwing pylons that replaced the smaller pylons used for the AGM-28 Hound Dog cruise missiles. The tail gunners and electronic warfare officers stations were replaced with two launch control stations. Command and telemetry systems were added, and high-speed cameras were installed to track the drones as they separated from the pylons. The launch control officer on the B-52H could communicate with the D-21B and could make it self-destruct. The solid propellant rocket booster was both larger and heavier than the drone, it was 44 feet 4 inches long and weighed 13,286 pounds. The first attempted launch of AD-21B was on 28 September 1967, but the drone fell off the B-52's launch pylon due to a stripped nut on the pylon before the aircraft reached its intended launch point. Three more launches were performed from November 1967 through January 1968. None were completely successful so Johnson ordered his team to conduct a thorough review before renewing launch attempts. A total of 38 D-21 and D-21B drones had been built, 21 of which were expended in launches. 
With the base open to the public, the D-21 drones were quickly spotted and photographed. The fate of the D-21 that had disappeared on the first operational flight was finally revealed in February 1986 when an official from the CIA returned a panel to Ben Rich that he had been given by a Soviet KGB agent. The drone had self-destructed over Siberia and the Soviets had recovered the wreckage. In the late 1990s NASA considered using a D-21 to test a hybrid rocket-based combined cycle engine, which operates as a ramjet or rocket, depending on its flight regime.